heat increment, which is the most important parameter we are looking for, is then equal to total heat production minus fast angle production. So if we include this uh, heat increment value as heat production minus fast angle production in our previous diagram, you can obtain the net energy value, which is equivalent now to Me minus heat production plus fast angle production. Then if you consider that Me minus heat production is equal to energy gain or energy retention, you then get the net energy equivalent to energy gain or energy retention plus fast angle production. Being, keeping in mind you, that energy gain can be growth of an animal in broilers or in growing pigs, for instance, but it can be also exporting energy as milk in the sow or eggs as in uh, laying ends. So the ratio between net energy and ME is called K, or the efficiency of ME for net energy. This K value, if we look for rather constant or rather basic or conventional diets, is very similar in all or four types of animals we are dealing with on that figure. So about 25% of the ME is lost as heat increment, which means that the efficiency or the average efficiency for conventional diet for all these animal species is about 75%. So we could think that the efficiency is rather constant, but it's not constant, it changed a lot. And it changed because you have behind the uh, ME uh, different nutrients which are used very differently for net energy. I have taken the values obtained in pigs, but we could get the same data uh, in poultry, indicating that the energy coming from protein is used with an efficiency that is about 60%, while the energy coming from starch or from fat are used with efficiency much higher, 80 or 90%. So this means that uh, the net energy over ME ratio will not be constant for diets and also more importantly for ingredients since this efficiency will vary with the nutrients composition of the, the diet or the ingredient. And so that's the main purpose or the main objective of these videos is to look at the impact of uh, changing the nutrients composition of diets or of ingredients on the net energy value of feeds.